Long ago, in the ancient land of Ulasil, knights and other warriors would vie for the privilege of reaching An Orlando, City of the Gods. An Orlando was a nigh impenetrable city, surrounded on all sides either by gigantic walls or the cliffs of a mountain. Regardless, it was a daunting task to scale either, and those approaching from the air would be shot down by patrolling archers. But the gods wished to remain ingratiated to the humans and other races below, and any chance to bolster their ranks was welcome. Seldom were the times An Orlando was not at war with some faction, whether it be demons, the remaining dragons, or the forces of the occult. They were always looking to recruit new powerful beings to their side. So it was that the Battle of Stoicism was devised, a ritual, a tournament, where the mightiest would compete, being summoned to an arena as phantoms where they would fight for supremacy. Should any warriors catch the eye of the gods, they would be invited to enter the city. This end of An Orlando is cut off from the greater metropolis where the majority of its residents lived, allowing access to the cathedral where there are guest quarters, and if they are truly fortunate, they may even have audience with members of the royal family. Lord Gwyn's honorary tomb was also built on this side so as to attract those who may become Blades of the Dark Moon, hunting the enemies of the Lords. However, with the fall of Ulysseel, the Battle of Stoicism ceased, and a new system was put in place. Sen, the one who devised the Battle of Stoicism, was tasked with creating a new way of recruitment, that Sen's fortress was built, made into a great armory and a veritable obstacle course. Silver Knights patrolled it once upon a time, intent on repelling the phantoms of those who sought entry into the city. This served to both repel the unworthy and keep the ever-loyal knights sharp. But just as the Battle of Stoicism before it, Sen's fortress was eventually rendered obsolete. The undead curse ravaged the land, and no longer could anyone risk the threat of hollows invading in Orlando. The entrance to the city was sealed, and an iron golem was placed there as further protection. It was during the following years that the legend of the chosen undead was fabricated, and now the abandoned fortress and its guardians became a proving ground for those wishing to fulfill their supposed destiny as an undead. Many attempted to scale the fortress, but almost all were repelled. Many lost hope, others hollowed. If only they knew the truth. Go along, try and make something of yourself, but nothing will come of it, you bloody fool. <laughs>